These are some secrets on the second level of Bugsy 3D. I know this game extremely well, but in order for it to even start, I need to get to the area. While I'm getting there, I'm collecting some junk along the way, and bopping a few enemies, hopping these platforms, and I think you got the idea. Exciting, isn't it? Probably the first thing you notice is the really bad graphics. Makes the NES look proud, doesn't it? Considering this is a PlayStation game. Almost there. Just across here is the area. However, before I start, I need to clear out the enemies. No, oh, I don't need that. I made 99 lives a long time ago from playing level 1 so much. Just about. Still got a few more enemies to clear out yet. Whoa, there's another one. Here we go now. See that fan? That's secret number one. With the fan, if I can get positioned properly, I can get flung up extremely high. And I mean high. Here we go. 40 coordinate units per frame, going straight up. <laughs> Notice that the position is cut off? Uh, where'd the ground go? It's fogged out and full. It actually takes 7 seconds to fall all the way back down. That's how high that is. Once it's set up, it's real easy to keep reproducing it as much as you want. According to my calculations, this takes you 7,000 coordinate units high. Secret number two, the rocket. At first, it doesn't seem like you can get up there, but now that you know this trick, let's try getting up there. To get it to work, however, we need to do this at an angle instead. FV. By pausing the game, you can get more control on how high you get. It's then just pushing forward until Bubsy lands. Nice view, huh? Just look at that ground fogged out so much. XM, that's pretty high. XQ, even better. Let's take a quick look around. That vibration is due to a bug in the game. Did you know that even this isn't the highest possible place you can stand on in this level? That's where secret number three comes in, getting to the highest possible point you can stand on. <laughs> Meant to do that. With 240 paw points, what difference does it make? Now for secret number three. To get started, we need to apply that same trick again as we did in secret number one. It's getting the correct angle that's the tricky part. Just need to line it up properly and apply the same thing you did in secret number two. Like as done in secret number two, just go forward until you see the shadow. Once you see the shadow, stop moving forward. Welcome to the highest possible point you can stand on in the entire game. Wanna see just how high this is? Two V, that's the highest you can get. Let's take a look around now. Probably the first thing you notice is how intensely fogged out the ground is, even more so than on top of the rocket. At the top of the screen, where the lowest lying ground is, the ground is fogged out entirely. Ever wonder what the highest part on the mountains is? Well, let's go find out. That's secret number four. Oh, where's those mountains at? There they are. Those aren't the mountains I'm after, but it's the shortest way of getting there. Using the secret mentioned in number one and two, it's the easiest way of... Did you know that, two weeks before I discovered the bug with a fan, I had a dream that featured a strikingly similar view to the Orange Top Mountains yet to come in the video.
And this is that view. Now we just need to get across these mountains and over to the area. Are you ready for some mountain climbing? To access the area, it requires some great skill with mountain climbing. Great care must also be taken because if you miss, you must head out of bounds and lose a life. Why do that? You simply can't get back. This is the trickiest part of all. Yes, made it. Because you can't see the slope to land on in order to get to the area in focus, it takes a bit of guesswork. Wow, that was nice. Only it takes a few tries. Not the ground being fogged out again. Wanna know how high this is? UJ, that's how high it is. Did you know that there's another area just as high? That's secret number five, our final secret. Did that deliberately. Note that the pop points number still shows 24, which is what it was a few minutes ago as well. That's because they have over 200. It's a bug in the game. The area I need to get to for secret number 5 is a long ways away. In the meanwhile, I'll show you another area you can get to, for a challenge anyway, using the fan bug. Since it's along the way, why not? Come on already. Nah. Yeah, it's quite difficult getting it set up with this particular angle. Fine. Ever wonder what the extra challenge is? Well, it just so happens that there is a checkerboard pattern area just across here that, with a little bit of luck and quite a bit of skill, you can land on the checkerboard pattern. Ooh, that was close. I've actually made it a few times. Oh well, off to the area. Just head straight and ignore the enemies and objects. You don't need them. What's actually needed is to get to a certain part of these mountains. Then we just use a little simple mountain climbing. Somewhere around here. There it is. Just climb up here, under here, and we're off. Now just jump across the gaps and then head off to the area, as shown. Now here's the area. It's a bit tricky to get started, but what you're supposed to do is land on that spinning thing. Then, just hop from platform to platform as shown. This is the first of the tricky jumps to make. Here's the second of the tricky jumps. This one's probably the toughest of all. Yeah, not the fog. One last jump. UZ. It's actually U1. Note the checkerboard pattern being fogged out as well. That's all there is. The bug with a fan can be used in other levels too. Wanna know another trick? Yep, that can be climbed. Takes a few tries though. There's another area with a height of SA. Try to find it. 